What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to do a quick crash course on TK Inter layout managers. So let us get right into it. All right, so let us get right into it. TK Inter basically offers three different types of layout managers or layouts called pack, grid and place. And in this video today, we're going to learn how to use them, what the differences are and how we can also combine them into professional graphical user interfaces. So how can we mix a pack layout with a grid layout and so on. Now for this, we don't need to have any external packages installed, we can just go ahead and say import TK Inter as TK. And the basic idea of a layout or a layout manager is how you place or how you put your UI elements like labels, buttons, text boxes, and so on, into your parent window into the window itself. So do you just specify coordinates? Do you just stack them on top of each other? Do you have a grid layout and so on? Those are the differences here when we use layout managers. So let us get started with a very basic application. Let's say we have some root window, which is equal to tk dot tk. And then we say root dot main loop, that's the most basic user interface in TK enter when I run this, you will see we have just an empty window here without any UI elements. So the thing is right now, when I go ahead and I create let's say a label and an entry and then maybe one more. So let's go ahead and say label equals TK label part of the root window and I say that the text of the label should be uh, label one or something. And then I have maybe uh, a text box, or let's just call it entry. And let's maybe call this label one entry one, then we're going to say TK dot entry, it's part of the root element. Um, and then we can copy this maybe and say, we want to have also a label two and an entry two. And then finally, maybe we want to have a button. So we want to have a button, or maybe let's do two buttons, TK button, part of root text is equal to button one, and then we copy this button two, button two. So these are now the UI elements that we defined, they're not part of the graphical user interface, I can run this and you can still see we have an empty window. So what we need to do in order to see these UI elements in our window is we need to add them, we need to actually use a layout manager to put them into uh, the graphical user interface. And as I said, we have three ways to do that. We have the pack layout, we have the grid layout, and we have the place. I'm not sure if place is even a layout, it's just a function where you can specify coordinates. So let us get started with pack because pack is very straightforward and very simple. What you do with pack is you basically just put these elements, um, you just stack them. So you basically say something like label one dot pack, and then label two dot pack and then entry one dot pack and maybe we should actually do the correct order here entry two dot pack button one dot pack and button two dot pack and the order is important because the way you pack them is the way or the order in which you pack them is going to be the order in which you see them in the graphical user interface. So you can see we have label one text entry label two, text entry button button. So we have just everything stacked on top. If I change the order of packing doesn't matter how I define them up here. If I pack button two as the first thing you're going to see that button two is going to be on top. So that is the pack layout in general. Now you can specify a couple of things here. First of all, a very basic thing that you uh, most of the time will probably do is you can specify a padding. So a padding x and a padding y. So an outer padding for the horizontal axis and one for the vertical axis. And then you also have inner padding if you want to so iPad x and iPad y, I mostly use just padding x and padding y. So you can say pad x equals five pad y equals five, then we can copy this. And we can just uh, put this here in our pack function. Now you can see we have a little bit more space around the individual UI elements. That is the idea of pad. Now what we can also do is we can specify a side when we pack. So we can say side equals TK dot left, for example, and I can do that here for um, these four elements, I can run this and now you can see that even though it's a pack layout, there are some differences, we stack the first four elements, we pack them to the left. So we have we still stack them, we still have label one, 
entry one, label two, entry two, but we do that on the left, so or to the left, you could say. Uh, and the last two elements, we then stack on top of each other. So we say button one, button two, come afterwards. Uh, and they're uh, vertically stacked, which is the default. So that is the idea of packing. The idea of packing is just stacking together and you can specify a site, but you're basically just stacking together. It's very simple. Now, another way to add these things to the UI is to use the grid layout. And the grid layout is a very structured layout. It's also very rigid. You basically have rows and columns and you place the individual elements into specific positions. So you specify row, column, and also stuff like row span, column span. So maybe you wanna have a button that spans three columns, so you can specify that but you basically uh, have this very rigid layout where you have the individual cells and you put these elements there. So for example, I can say label one grid, and now I have to specify, okay, where exactly am I gonna put the label? Now, maybe I wanna put it at row zero and column zero, and I wanna add maybe petting X equals five and petting Y equals five as well. Now I can copy this here for entry one, label two and entry two. And I can change now just the row and the column. So I can say entry one should be right next to the label in the same row, but a different column. Then this is the next row. And this is the next row and the second column. And then maybe for the buttons, what I want to do is I want to say, so let's copy this again. For the buttons, what I want to do is I want to say button one grid, button two grid, I want to put them here in row two, row three, and in column zero, column zero, but you're going to see one thing here. Uh, you can see that this worked, but the button is now to the left, I want the button to span all of this, all of this space here. How I do that is by specifying the column span. So I can do column span equals two. So span it across two columns, column zero and column one. Like this. And then you can see now they're centered here. And this is the grid layout. That's the basic idea of the grid layout. So I oftentimes use this when I want to have a specific uh, structure, I want to have a rigid grid where I can just place the individual UI elements into the individual uh, cells or uh, yeah, basically slots, you could say. Uh, pack is a very simple one, you just stack them. And then you have the quote unquote manual way where you take the UI elements and you place them at specific coordinates. So you can do that with place, you can say label one dot place, and then you can specify here X and Y coordinates. Now for this, I'm going to just specify up here root dot geometry is going to be equal to and then I'm going to um, use a specific size so that I can fit the stuff in. I'm going to go with 230 times 170 just because this is what I prepared in my code here. Um, and then I can specify that I want to place the label at x equals 10 and y equals 10 as well. And then I can copy this. I can do this for entry one, entry two as well. And the idea now is that I can say, for example, I want to put this to x equals 50. Here, I want to put this to x equals 10 again, but maybe to y equals uh, 50. And here, 50, 50. So if I just run this now, you can see I place these things. But I actually don't have enough space to even see the full label. So maybe we should change that. Maybe we should say that this starts at 70. Uh, there you go. Maybe we should also change the geometry to 250 or something. There you go. But you can see this can get very messy because now we're manually placing the elements, we're manually specifying coordinates. And, you know, it's not a rigid structure that is automatically going to look ordered or structured, you're going to have to take care of this yourself, you're going to have to adjust the size of the entries, the size of the buttons and uh, consider all the coordinates and so on. Um, so yeah, maybe one more thing that I want to show you here is uh, we can also if we go back to the to the grid layout, what we can also do is we can specify we can specify a couple of keywords here. So for example, here I can say expand equals true for the buttons that span over two columns expand equals true. And then I can specify fill equals TK dot both, for example, I'm going to explain what this means here in a second. Okay, dot 
both. Come on. There you go. And oh, actually, this doesn't work with uh, this doesn't work with grid. This only works with pack. So let me do this with pack. Uh, actually, we don't want to get rid of all this. We want to go up until there. There you go. And of course, uh, yeah, this should work. So what you can see is when I get rid of all this, you can see that the buttons are just the buttons. So they have some space left and right. If I want to stretch them on the x axis, what I can do is I can say expand equals true. And then actually, the only thing I have to do is TKX. So I want to stretch them on the horizontal axis. Uh, and it would fill up all the space. Now, if I have some space up and down, so above and below, um, I could also specify TKY or TK both to stretch into X and Y to fill up the whole space, basically. This is just a detail that I wanted to mention here. Now, let us get to the interesting stuff now, because this is actually where it, um, where it starts getting interesting when you actually build a graphical user interface, you might want to combine these layouts. So you might want to have uh, let me maybe use some, some drawing here. Uh, you might want to have a window. And in this window, you might want to have different sections. So you might want to have a section up here. Um, and you might want to have a section down here. So maybe this is a calculator, you have some buttons here, uh, that are structured in a grid layout, you want to have the button structured in a grid layout, and some of them span over multiple columns. Uh, so you have this grid layout down here, but then you want to have maybe, uh, oh, come on. Uh, maybe you want to have a pack layout up here because you have some screen here and you have some stuff here. So this is a pack layout and the whole thing is a pack layout. So you have a pack layout. Um, let me change the color here. You maybe have a pack layout uh, inside of this thing here, then you have a grid layout inside of this thing here. But then these two things are also packed in a pack layout. So how do you combine multiple layouts inside of TK enter? The way you do that is by using frames. So what you can do is you can say, frame one equals TK frame. And the frame is part of the root element. And then you have a second frame, maybe that's also part of the root element. And then what you do is you take these elements. And instead of saying that they're part of root directly, you put them into frames. So you can say, for example, that this year is part of frame one, this year is part of frame one, frame one, and this year is part of frame two, for example. And um, basically, now you have to do the same thing, you have to pack them or use a grid layout or something. But you do that for the frame. So what you do is you say, uh, label one dot pack, and then uh, you do that for label two, and you do that for entry one and entry two. And then you can do the same thing for button, let's just go with a uh, pack, but let's do a different pack. Let's uh, do or actually, let's just do the ordinary pack here as well. So basically, you have now all this stuff packed. And now you also have to pack the frames themselves. So you have to say or you have to put in the frames themselves. So frame one dot pack. And maybe you want to do side um, side is equal to TK dot left. And you want to do that for frame two as well. And what you can see now is that we have two different frames, we have the frame here, that has these four elements stacked. And we have the frame on the right with these two elements. Uh, so these four elements and these two elements stacked here, or packed here, and then the whole frames are packed as well. And of course, this doesn't only work with pack, you can also use, um, you can use a grid layout for these, for example, and you can use a pack layout for these. So you can go ahead and say here, grid, 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 and then row equals zero, column equals zero. And then you can just paste this here, change this like this. And this also works. So you have a grid layout here on the left, and then you have a pack layout here. 
and the two frames are also combined with a pack layout. And you can keep going, you know, you can have frames and frames and frames and so on. So you can make complicated layouts by mixing grid and pack mainly, but you can of course also play around with place. So yeah, these are the layout managers in TK Intro. This is how you build professional graphical user interfaces. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.